Um, Fremantle, you can see mm -hmm. what they're going to grow into, can't you? Justin Longmuir, who's... It, it's If you know sort of anything about his journey, you know how impressive he is and you're starting to see it in full view. So two weeks in a row. So he's clearly had the better of Collingwood and Hawthorne in the way that he took their game away from them. It's very impressive. Well, yeah. When, when you talk about Fremantle, you smile because youth makes you smile. And when you see... Young, young boys like Andrew Brayshaw who got his face smashed in last year, ripping, ripping off a 30-odd game against Mitchell O'Meara, et cetera, and, 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 and Shearer and our, our boy, our, everyone's boy, not our boy, just because he's on our show. Sarong, but, but Luke Ryan at the back. I mean, they've just got so many nice things happening there. And, and always we, you go to the coach because he's a relatively young figure in, in, in coaching ranks and... He seems to have a really good human nature about him. Everyone, I don't know about anyone else at home, but when I hear him talk, Jared, I feel he's talking to me one-on-one -on -one when I'm listening on the TV. He's not putting on, you know, different graces or putting on different persona. I feel that he's talking to me one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're playing for Justin Longmuir, and I feel that when I hear him on TV, imagine what that's like, yeah. being a player at that club. Now, every other coach out there has been sat my look and said, we're all like that, and you may well be. But it's just a wonderful feeling that yeah. they've got. At the start of his journey, he's got four wins.